clues from rather than writing them himself. So he picked one of the, I wish I'd kept the others, but he picked a, you gotta get it right while you got the time, because when you close your heart, then you close your mind. So uh, three or four days later, we're in the studio recording. He and I, he says, or Quincy says, Michael has discovered that the key is a little too high, so we want you to sing the demo in a lower key. I'm like, cool. So I go, I'm on my way to the studio to sing it in lower key. Michael is behind me, videotaping. So I'm like, what are you doing? He says, I want to record you so when I go home, I can watch you do it. Now believe me, when I tell them, he wanted to sing it like me. Thanks, Mike, you love that. So it was, he was just, he, he made you feel like he had as much to learn from you as you did from him. He was awesome, awesome. To be on one accord with this, it would be nice, but you know, uh, uh, it, I, I don't know, I mean, everybody, you know, there are people that are just gonna be stuck in one thing no matter what. But I would say there's um, three main aspects of Mike. Um, the artistry, obviously. Uh, his business savvy. Cause make no don't let the don't let the high voice fool you. Don't let the bandy. Be okay, because he was second. Right. So you want to do it then? Yeah. Right. I remember the lyrics. Well, you should remember the lyrics. You I'm a lyricist who forgets lyrics. Okay, so I always felt that I Just Can't Stop Loving You was Michael's love song to me because I'm selfish that way. Um, so I wrote this song as I, I didn't get to ever tell him how his influence changed my life. Uh, I didn't get to tell him how much I loved him. And so I wrote this song.
okay, now, 